Hi everyone, in this viewer request tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to quickly create a flower shape using the move duplicate function in Designer for Desktop version two. For those of you on the iPad version, move duplicate isn't an option. However, the same shape can be created using the method I cover in my tutorial about power duplicating shapes in Affinity Designer for iPad. I'll link that above and in the description. Let's get started. I want to create a quick flower shape using a series of ellipses made out of strokes so that I can use the vector flood fill tool on the areas where they overlap. I'm going to start by creating a long, tall ellipse shape. So I just have a black stroke set to about 3.5 pixels and I'll just drag that out. Now I need to make this pointed at the top and the bottom, but because this is a shape layer and not a curve layer, I don't have any use of my node tools. So while this is selected, I'll go up to the top here and choose convert to curves. And that's going to give me the four smooth nodes that make up this oval shape. I'll click and drag to select these two nodes, the top and the bottom, go up to my contextual menu and just choose sharp. So my paddle's all set and I want to duplicate it and rotate it around a circle to create my flower. Now, rather than using the traditional power duplicate function, I'm going to use the move duplicate function that was added to version two. Before I do that though, I want to let designer know what part of the petal I want to duplicate and rotate around. In other words, if I were to rotate this shape right now, it's going to rotate around the center of the shape itself because that's where the origin point is set. At the very top of the move tool in the contextual menu, you'll see this sort of bullseye icon and that's enable transform origin. The default is for this origin point to be set at the center of the shape you've created. What I want to do is drag this down to the bottom and I'm going to add it to the middle point at the very bottom. So now if I rotate this, it's going to rotate around that point rather than the middle of my shape. So we're all set to start using the move duplicate function. So with the shape selected, I'm going to hit enter. Now there are a few areas of this box that I need to update. The first being the rotation. So I'm going to go into here and what I want to do is tell designer that I want 12 petals evenly distributed around the circumference of my flower. So I'm going to key in 360, which is the circumference of a circle. I'll hit divide on the desktop version. It's the forward slash and I'll key in 12 because again, I want 12 petals. I also want to turn on duplicate. Now when I tab out of that box, it's going to give me that first petal and it's automatically determined that I need a rotation of 30 to give myself 12 petals around the entire shape. Now I need to tell designer how many copies I want. I already have one copy in place, so I'm going to key in 11 and that's going to give me my entire flower. So I'll click OK and you can see that it's created all of those curves from that first one. Now from here, I can grab the vector flood fill tool and start adding blocks of color to form a fully colored flower. I have all of my shapes selected. I'll grab my vector flood fill tool and I'm not going to go into great detail on this tutorial because I have an entire tutorial dedicated to the vector flood fill tool where I show you how to fill in the shapes and create a colorful stained glass flower like this one. I'll link it above as well as in the description, but really quickly, basically I can just grab some color here and just run it along the outside to fill in and get the flower. And again, these are overlaps here, so I can do that. And then maybe fill it in here as well. And I'll end up with something similar to the original flower that I created. You can create a number of different types of flowers and shapes just by playing with the number of petals that you have on your rotation. Just have fun with it and see where it takes you. So that's it, a quick and easy way to duplicate a shape to create a flower using the move duplicate function. If you like my teaching style, I recommend checking out my full length classes on both Skillshare and my own learning site, The Creator Collage. I've linked it above as well as below. I have lots more tutorials coming on YouTube as well. In the meantime though, you might wanna check out one of these two next. Thanks for watching.